Like many popular Tuscan towns, Volterra sits on an Etruscan foundation. 2,500 years ago, Volterra was one of the most important Etruscan cities. It was a key trading center protected by a four-mile-long wall. Its mighty Etruscan gate, built of massive tufa stones, survives. These three seriously eroded heads date from the second century BC and show what can happen when you leave something outside for 2,000 years. The smaller stones are part of the medieval city wall, which incorporated parts of the much older Etruscan wall. Unlike other famous towns in Tuscany, Volterra feels not cutesy and touristic, but real, vibrant, and almost oblivious to the allure of the tourist dollar. A refreshing break from its more commercial neighbors, it's my favorite small town in Tuscany. Volterra's Etruscan Museum is filled top to bottom with precious artifacts from centuries before Christ. The artifacts were mostly excavated from tombs. You'll see etched mirrors, stylized bronze buckles, intricately decorated pot handles, and exquisitely crafted jewelry. The exhibit helps us appreciate the sophistication of this pre-Roman society. The forte of this museum is its many finely carved funerary urns, stone boxes containing ashes of the dead. They suggest the Etruscans were influenced by their ancient Greek contemporaries. But while Greek artists focused on the idealized human form, the Etruscans represented people as unique individuals, portrayed realistically with wrinkles, crooked noses, and funny haircuts. The museum's extensive collection of urns, with subjects lounging as if munching grapes with the gods at some heavenly banquet, is a reminder that the Etruscans believed you'd have fun in the afterlife.